Hi guys, welcome to Butte Mountain Homestead. We got a little bit of rain yesterday and into this morning. So some of this ground might be workable. Um, I'm going to bring out some different goodies and I'm gonna work on getting maybe the lines marked for this. I'm gonna chip away some of that dirt because I need this extra dirt uh, because I'm gonna create I'll just have to show you, but I'm going to create a little rock area that kind of goes to that way. That way I can walk around here. So this will be, there's going to be a bench there, there's going to be gravel here, but I do want a definite border. And then I think somewhere in here, there's going to be like a little bermed area. So I want all this extra soil, any extra soil right in here and I'm going to get as much done as I can today before it gets dark so I've been canning all morning it's been kind of sprinkling on and off I started a batch of ketchup I think that video will be put up first um, so you'll see that before this one or vice versa but you'll see it pretty close to this one one way or another but I need to get a few weeds pulled but yeah, I'm going to get those buddleia in the ground. I need to go get some chicken wire. Uh, we use the three quarter um, like holes on the chicken wire so that the voles don't get through there. There is a lot of vole and gopher activity on these hills, especially out here and out there. <laughs> the goats are saying hi. They did not like the rain last night at all. So mama let them out this morning. Dad usually lets them out, but um, I let them out this morning, gave them a couple scoops of their Timothy pellets. We've been just picking those up at Tractor Supply and they like those kind of in supplement with their uh, Timothy hay. So right now we just we just don't have them out on the, the hill because it's, we're not moving that fence right now. So we're gonna hopefully get started on that structure really, really quick. So, anyways, I digress. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I need to get, see all this dirt right here. It's all kind of high. Is I need to get that dug out as much as I can and moved over here. But first, I'm going to get the rock set up. So, I'm going to get after it. And I will show you if stuff happens. I would put you on um, time lapse. But I have been in the kitchen all day. And I have... <laughs> I have leggings and a t-shirt and a head rag, so I'm just not camera ready, that is for sure. But I will show you the progress on the fun stuff. Oh, one thing I am going to do, oh goodness, <laughs> is over in the, on the west side by the willow tree, is I'm going to go sprinkle a ton of wildflowers. Because I want that whole corner to be wildflowers or just flowers. And then when the willow starts getting big enough and we have to prune it up. But this was, I think a mix from Home Depot. I'm not sure. And then this, I believe, was included with one of my botanical interest orders. Again, I buy all these. Still not sponsored or big enough for anybody to pay for anything. <laughs> so anyways, any everything that's in here is okay um, because our cows can't have milkweed. Um, there's an enzyme in the actual uh, seeds, seed heads, that causes them to go crazy. Literally causes them to go crazy. So we have to pull milkweed. There's a variety that doesn't affect them. So anyways, I have to make sure that whatever we plant is not in the milkweed family. Or is that particular milkweed for sure. So all of this is just regular old wildflowers. So I'm going to go over there and sprinkle these really quick. I'm going to give them a quick water in just because I should have did it yesterday, but I didn't. <laughs> so it was so nice and kind of windy and cloudy and I just was enjoying it last night. So again, this is the grandmother's cut flower garden. There's a ton of good stuff in there. I'll just name them kind of real quick. But we have um, China Aster, Forget-Me-Not, Sweet Sultan, Tricolor Daisy, Dwarf Cornflower, Giant Imperial Larkspur, Love in a Mist, Cosmos Pacific, Giant Delphinium, Sweet William, Baby's Breath, Bishop's Flower, Globe Gilia, Tall Double Go Godisha, I've never heard of that, 
brown-eyed Susan, feathered red Celosia, red Coreopsis, um, bicolor Coreopsis, yellow Mexican hat, Canterbury bells, catchfly, and corn poppy. So a lot of those colors are going in with that West Garden theme, so we're good there. Same with the mix in there, that's pretty much the same as well. So I'm gonna go do that real quick, and then I think I need to take the cart with me because I'm gonna cart carry over some rocks and I don't wanna do them one at a time. Okay, change of plans. I'm not doing the wildflowers right now. Because you know how when you get in your mojo, you really don't want to disrupt that or <laughs> disrupt that. So I'm not going to. I'm going to do what I came out here to do. Wildflowers can be any time this month. So um, we have 90s next week, so I'm not worried about it. But I did get some dirt removed out of here. Looks like this is still a little high. I did have to change the how many rows I had though because that row was too far out from the doorway so I brought it in one I'm gonna keep that one back there though because that's coming off the gate so I do want it a little wide right there and then I'm gonna put some like little half blocks to make kind of like a little you know <laughs> I don't know what that's called where it kind of transoms or kind of integrates into it to where you know woo. Um, and then it's going to go up there and then there'll be a stopping point where there'll be kind of like a platform to go in there I'm not sure how many I'm just going to use however many of those I have even numbers um, to make like a little step and then like um, this is going to be a path going this way a little triangle little triangle garden right here for the water fountain and flowers and then that'll be the bench and then a smaller path and it'll just go like that so you'll see it I'm hoping to get that done within the next two weeks um, and then hopefully next weekend Jean can get those boards up then we can work on the roof and then get panels so if the rains come early I don't want to be caught without that being up so we need to kind of get on that so um I went and started getting some rocks and see when I'd go and do things I squirrel into something else so if I know if I go over to the wild where I was going to do the wildflowered seeds over there I was going to squirrel into stuff but I kind of borrowed those rocks from way over on the other side where those five rose bushes are and some of the apple trees and I don't know what to do over there so I took those for now just because I'm not doing anything over there and I'm not using it for anything. I'm actually considering taking those roses out and just leave a path from one side to the other and then have that be open. And whether I throw like meadow grass down or meadow flowers down, um, kind of keep it meadowish over there because we, we're not using it for anything. And the septic's over there, so um, or the septic access is over there, so we can't really do anything over there, anyways. So and it just caught my eye, cutest little guy ever, <laughs> little gatekeeper. He's so cute. We have him by the millions, so I'm kind of over him right now. But so I'm going to start laying out a few of these and see which way I want to go. Um, that's all the dirt I got removed. Like I said, this is a little high right here, so I might come back there and do that again. I'm not doing it today, but and then I have um, in-ground uh, uh, bagged dirt, and that's what we have to do right now. So I'm not having any delivered. I'm just doing it this way. So um, it's not going to be. That's the only area that's going to be bermed is right where that's at, anyways. So I will show you as I do it. Okay, the rocker in. I really like it. So now I'm going to go get a piece of a, uh, oh, it was part of an old baby crib, like an iron baby crib, but I'm going to use it as kind of an architectural piece. So I'm not sure how well you can see this. Okay, I've got the little rusty crusty part of, that is part of a baby gate that was, so someone who gave it to me, he's in his 80s. And it was his mom's first, then it was his. So this has got to be over 100, oh, 150 years old. 
and it's um i have i think three sides of it i don't remember where the other side is but of course it's all broken and stuff but trying to get that in as one person that's what that rock was for so i just used some rebar and some baling wire to hold together then i have my in-ground soil and then there's oh battery's going dead so i'm going to shut it off and i will show you tomorrow hopefully you can see this part right now but all these bulbs are going to go in plus the plants from the garden good morning it is several days later the next day and the day after that were so windy that I, I couldn't do anything out here. So, and then this week has been in the 90s. And I had to work because I do work part-time out of the house. So today is a good day to get going on this. So I've been keeping it watered, which I needed to do anyways. The echinacea did not like being transplanted at all. <laughs> I think they'll bounce back. So there's one, two, three, four, there's five. So, and then I did get alliums planted here. And let's see, it looks like right there, but, and I guess right here. So see that little mark. So there'll be alliums, there's white ones and purple ones. I don't know if the white ones dug up and did okay, but, did the best I can so that doesn't leave much room in here but I'm gonna cram as many as I can so I'm gonna put some hyacinth up front uh, the nepeta seems to be bouncing back okay and that lamb's ear is doing awesome because it's on the overflow from the garden and that one I'm having to water so it's not getting as much water I'm also gonna move drip over today too today is cram packed holy smokes but <laughs> So I'm going to get the drip ran over here so that everything is getting watered. And uh, so I'm going to get, I'm using the bulb tone again to get those in. I don't know if I'm going to get all 50 tulips in there or not. I do want to get the hyacinth and the daffodil and some of those in there. That way it's full. Uh, yeah, get the drip ran. Oh, I had to move the bird bath because it was over on the slope and I guess it, it just fell. So, not sure what happened there, but, and then I'm not sure what's going on right here. So, oh, you know what, I had started to dig the hole there and I think I changed my mind, but. So, yep, that's cracked. I mean, it broke off. So right there, there's completely all the way around. So I just set it back up there and I'm gonna move it actually over there. To where if it does fall hopefully lewis won't be in that vicinity so i think i'm actually going to tuck it where did i where was i going to tuck it kind of in between the lamb's ear and the rose of sharon so right in there so i need to get that weed fabric down i'm not doing that today but i'm going to like i said get these in i'm going to work on a section of brick oh and i'm going to transfer out or i'm going to move some salvia behind and then i'm going to do some irises i'm trying to keep track of the color scheme because that of course is the blue leaf it has a little bit of a purple flower but not much there's the white iceberg rose the rose of sharon i believe has pink blooms the oak leaf hydrangea has white blooms the red bud has pink blooms and the butterfly bush has purple blooms so I do believe I'm going to put the pink rose kind of behind that bird bath, but enough room to give the buddleia room to grow that hydrangea. So that's all going to be one grown cluster eventually. And then I have the heliotrope and the baptisia I need to move, and those are both purple blooms. One's a lighter bloom, one's a darker bloom, or purples. But then I want some irises. So the blue salvia are going right behind here and they're going to kind of come around here if I have enough of them. I'm going to go dig up wherever I have salvia is going to get moved out here. Um, so there'll be a layer of pink, layer of purple. And I think I might put the, um, I think it's Liriop, is that what I said? Somewhere in here to kind of break it up because I don't want a layer of echinacea, a layer of salvia. I want it kind of, you know, dotted. 
So that's what I'm going to work on. I might put one of them right here. That way there's a grassy element. And that'll leave room in here for something. So, you know, behind there. So I'm not sure. I think I might put a cluster of irises there. I think that'll look pretty. So I just need something more leafy. Because that hydrangea is going to get pretty big. So I need to leave room for that. So I think it'll be okay. Because that'll be the leafy component. The Riz of Sharon will eventually be right here. So I think right there will be. If not, I'll just change it out. Um, the height over here will be actually the... Uh, iceberg roses is going to get pretty full. The bird bath is going to go there. The lamb's ear is going to stay low. So anyways, I'm going to get after this. I'm going to plant garlic today. I'm going to take out one bed of tomatoes. And we'll see where I'm at. It's supposed to get 95 today this afternoon. Right now it's, I think it's 80, but there's a nice breeze. So I'm going to get done this morning what I can. Like I said, I'm going to get a layer of brick put in. Those are the irises I think I'm going to steal right there in that little cluster of weeds because that's all getting kind of reworked once this goes because this brick pathway is going to go out there too. So, and then this weekend, if I don't get it done today, I'll get it done before Monday. Monday is supposed to be 21 degree drop in the weather and possible rain. But I do want to go get some rock from the creek and get this little triangle started because there's going to be a pathway here. There's like going to be like a little triangle right here. And part of that triangle is going to be the path. Um, this cart's in the way. All right. So see, there's kind of a natural path right here out to the, that's technically the calf hut, but the goats are in there right now temporarily. So there'll be a path out there. There's going to be a pergola right there with the banks rose, which I already have climbing up it. That's all going to be rock. Hopefully I have enough rock. Anyways, that's that in the goat structure all needs to get done before the rains and before Jean gets to work on the planting. But this first, <laughs> that needs to be finished first of all. So he's going to get some boards on there this weekend. And then I can start getting the outer, um, well, once we get the root boards up, then we can start on the everything else. So we'll see. So hang tight. And I was going to put you and do a time lapse, but I cannot find my tripod. So I have no idea. It's here somewhere. That's what I get for not putting it back where it goes. So hang tight. I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, I went through and just dug a bunch of holes. And I've done the hyacinth on this side to kind of go this way. So it's like a little swoop. And then I'm going to come back with some daffodils, and then I'll do tulips all through here. I don't know if you can see that, but all through here. So I've put bulb tone, and I did the holes about four inches deep. Because um, this ground is, even though I've soaked it, this side was a lot easier because I think it's closer to the runoff here. But So those holes are a little bit closer to five inches deep. But I've just put bulb tone, and then I'm going to do the same little... So I'm going to dig a few more holes and I'm not going to fill in, in the holes yet until I get all the bulbs placed. If they go over a little bit, then that's fine. But so I'll get some daffodils and then, like I said, I'm just going to sprinkle the pink tulips behind and then I'll get some of the blue elements in and I might change my mind. I might just intersperse them. We'll see. So that's what I'm doing so far. Okay. I went ahead and got all the daffodils in. There's five over here and five over here. So this is all going to be blue and white. That's kind of the purpley blue. That's the Nepeta cat's pajamas. So it's really low. We got the blue on the lambs here on each side. I'm going to go ahead and go get my big shrubs. Get them in now so that I can place um, my pink bulbs. Because I need to... I have a whole lot of them. Not that I need to use all of them, but why not? Uh, this I need to get wet if I'm going to plant anything there. But that butterfly bush is going to come darn near over to this edge. So I really don't need to do much in here because it's going to it's going to take up this whole corner. That's why I placed it in the rocks like I did. And it'll touch the other one. And that one's going to come out, like I said, 
probably three and a half feet kind of to the edge of where that little grass tuff is so this this whole area right here is going to be all butterfly bush so i just need to worry about all of this that's what i'm going to do okay i got the baptisia right there and then the leary up right there and because that's a rosa sharon it's actually going to end up being a tree so this can fill in right here um I might put something smaller right there. I'm not sure. Um, and then I think I'm going to put the bird bath right here. Because I don't think Lewis is going to go traipsing through here. And if I need to put a little bit barrier here, I can. But although that does get kind of wet. So I don't want it to be too heavy from the ground sinking it and make it fall over. So I might actually do it right right there, almost in front of the windmill. So Gene still has to fix the actual windmill portion of it. He's just gonna lock the blade because wind comes up so sporadic and sometimes high gust and we don't even know it and that's how it's broke twice. So he's just gonna freeze it from turning. But I think I'll put the bird bath right there, but I need to get some weed barrier down. But that's not on my important list right now. It's getting the bulbs in, so I'm going to get the tulips in all through there you know and kind of back in like that and uh, yeah so that should fill in nicely and then I'll get the salvia moved and some irises so yeah I might put some irises in here and right over there so it'll just be a process and if I don't like it I can move it so luckily these this ground was almost too wet so I had to use the dirt that I dug up from there which was a lot less wet and use it to, to backfill so I don't think I'll need to water put any water to these three things actually these four things and whatever else I put in here I won't need to run water to them because they get overflow from that garden bed right there so and it looks like I need to harvest some bell peppers I already harvested wax peppers day before yesterday and it looks like I already got a lot coming on so really nice problem to have and then where I was gonna put the garlic I might change my mind and put it where the corn is. I'll use the corn as like a little fault decoration. But anyways, it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning. It's still pretty cool. So I don't think I have to worry about the heat too much. So I'll work till lunch and then go from there. Okay, I just started planting the bulbs and uh, I was doing these tulip purple lady, which is those right here and all but three in the bag or four in the bag were rotten I mean they stink that's gross they, I mean they're rotten so I'm not going to go back to Costco to try to get my money back or anything luckily I have a bag of purple ones right here I was wondering which ones to do or so I'll go ahead and plant these in in the empty spaces yeah that's a bummer so just be mindful and don't plant them i mean if there's a little bit so luckily i like i said i think there was maybe five that weren't rotten so that's how it goes okay got everything in i haven't done anything here yet because i wanted to get the drip hooked up got the drip hooked up everything's running I don't have anything running over here yet because of the uh, the water runoff. I might run a tube over to there just so I know that for sure that that gets wet because it wasn't that wet to dig. But anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. It's getting kind of long, but I just wanted to show that the drip is in. I just need to run that drip tube over there and then I'm going to get some wood mulch brought into here and at least up to that point and uh yeah guys so thank you for <laughs> hanging out with me for the few days it took to get this video shot but uh and then I'll give updates as stuff happens but just remember to always be kind and do what makes you happy and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video bye